This tutorial will show you on how to transfer your website data from address A to address B. In this demo, we will illustrate this by transferring website contents from subdomain A, that is address A, .netkldemo.com to subdomain B, that is address B, .netkldemo.com. Firstly, create a backup for address A website first via Softaculous in your cPanel. To do that, you need to log into your cPanel and click on Softaculous or WordPress icon. There will be list of your WordPress installations here. Choose the website that you'd like to backup, in this case, address a.netkldemo.com and click backup. Click backup installation. Wait for a while until backup completes. You've created your backup successfully, good job. Now, click return to overview. Click here to see all backup files that you have ever created. This is the backup file that you just created just now. Now, click here to download the backup file into your PC or desktop. Once done, the next step is to upload the zip file into your new destinations folder, in this case, subdomain B, that is, address B, .netkldemo.com. To do that, log into your cPanel, where subdomain B, that is, address B, .netkldemo.com is located. Click on the file manager. Click on the subdomain B folder. Click on setting, and you'll see this pop up. Tick this home directory radio button. Tick this show hidden files box. And also disable character box. And click save. Then, click on this upload button, and click select file. Kindly upload the backup file that you just downloaded into your PC just now. Wait until the uploading process completes. Once done, click go back. You'll see the zip file you uploaded just now, here. To unzip it, click on it and click extract button here. Wait for a while until extraction completes. You should see the soft sql.sql file here. Download the soft sql.sql file into your PC or desktop. Select these four files and delete them. Once done, the next step is create the database name and assign its database user. To do that, click on the MySQL databases icon here. To create a database, just enter a database name here. You can use any database name you want. For example, ABC, or Address B, or anything, as long as you remember them later on. In this example, we'll use Address B throughout this demo. Now, click the Create Database. Copy this database name and paste it on Notepad so that you can remember them later. Then, click Go Back and scroll down to Add New User. Now, let's create a user for the database here. You can enter any spelling you like. However, since your database name just now was Address B, therefore, we'd encourage that you also use Address B as the user for the database, because it will be much easier to find later on. Now, enter the user's password manually here. You can enter any password you like, but make sure that it's strong. Alternatively, you can just click on Generate Password here. Keep on clicking until you see a password you like. Once chosen, please copy this password first and save it somewhere else 
for example, in Notepad. Tick this box and click Use Password and click Create User. Then, click Go Back and scroll down to Add User to Database. You'll see two drop-down lists here. Choose the right user here and the right database here. Once confirmed, then click Add to link this user to its database. Then, tick the All Privileges box here and click Make Changes. Now, you have successfully created a database name and a database user in cPanel, good job. Next step is, go to your cPanel, click PHP My Admin, and click on the database name that we just created. You will see no tables found in database message on the screen. Now, click on Import button. Search for your soft SQL.SQL file that you saved in your PC or desktop just now, click Open and go. Wait for a moment until import finishes. Your SQL file has been successfully imported, well done. Now, click on this options table and you will see these top two rows that contain old address, that is address a.netkldemo.com. Now, change that address by clicking on edit and change the old address to https colon slash slash address b .netkldemo.com and click Go to save it. Now, do the same for the second row. URL in both rows have been updated, good job. Now, the next step is, go back to your file manager, click on address B, .netkldemo.com folder, and click on this wpconfig.php file and click edit. This coding will pop up. Now, update the old database name and database user to the new database name and database user and change the old password to the new password. Please note that the table prefix also has changed. So, you need to copy the new table prefix here, in this case wpnj underscore and replace the old table prefix to the new one here. Once replaced, click Save Changes. Now, let's open the new website, that is address b.netkldemo.com on your browser. If the address b website content is exactly identical to address a, that means you have transferred your website data correctly. Congratulations. Thanks for watching. If you need any assistance, kindly contact us at support at netkl.com.